We have some new details tonight as the city of South Fulton's mayor faces charges of trespassing and burglary. And this is a story that's made headlines across the country. 11 Alive's Bobeth Yates joining us right now outside of city council. Bobeth, you spoke with the residents tonight. What did they have to say about all this? That's right, and those residents we spoke to say this is a bigger issue of censorship and a way to keep the mayor of South Fulton quiet. Because he's exposing him, and, you know, people don't like to be exposed. Rashad Snelling is a friend of Khalid Kaman, the city of South Fulton mayor, and he's coming to the mayor's defense after his recent arrest. From what I understand, he was walking on somebody's property, and all of a sudden he gets charged with um, criminal criminal um, trespassing, and then he also got charged with a felony for burglary when he didn't touch anything. I mean, this is, a lot of people feel like this is a setup. Ed Snelling says he believes the mayor is being targeted for speaking out. About a year ago, he stood on the steps of Camelot and he exposed the corruption in the police department. Shortly after that happened, um, we had a charter commission meeting where the charter commission removed the mayor. And in an interview with City of South Fulton community activist, Jewel Johnson, echoed similar sentiments. If he had been anybody else, uh, they would have released him on his own recognizance. Johnson actually ran against Kumar and lost. And she says despite their differences, she feels something is wrong with how he's being treated. They never really gave the, the mayor that we have now an opportunity because time he was elected, they immediately start changing the charter so that they could take over. The council has all the power. The South Fulton mayor was stripped of his ability to vote and perform several other duties. So 11 Alive did some digging and found out the mayor is just one of several people who have been arrested and charged with burglary for entering the property on the 600 block of Cascade Palmetto Highway. We spoke to a realtor who's currently battling his arrest in court, but he declined to comment. In the meantime, residents we spoke to say this issue goes beyond the mayor. A lot of people feel like uh, a lot of their rights as a citizen is being taken away from them, that the control is actually being taken by the, the council. Now, we also reached out to them. Now, we also reached out to the mayor for comment, but did not hear back. He's expected to be in court on these charges back in September. Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News.